How's it growing, y'all? Welcome to Dirty Khakis TV. I'm your host with the most, Kevin D. And today's video is on one of my favorite early spring bloomers, the red bud tree. So without further ado, let's jump right in. <music> Circus canadensis, otherwise known as the North American red bud or the uh, Eastern red bud, uh, identifiable from its heart shaped flowers and its beautiful purple early spring blooms. Guys, the forsythias are blooming, the daffodils are blooming, the maples are blooming, the red buds are blooming. Spring is here, it's beautiful. Um, widely used in landscape design all over uh, the U.S. that prefer well-drained soils. Light shades, uh, can, some can handle full sun, some kinds can, but they prefer partial shade. Uh, uh, let's see, they can grow over 20 foot tall. Um, they are a member of the Fabaceae family, if I'm saying that right. Fabaceae. <clears throat> it's Fabaceae. All right, which includes your nitrogen fixing legumes but which is why they will produce these uh, pea pod uh, seed pods as you see up there uh, however there is no uh, information to support the idea that these red buds fix nitrogen into the soil some can have double blooms some can even have white flowers uh, so another interesting thing about these things is they're called the Judas tree in some places because it's believed that Judas Iscariot hung himself from such a tree and that's why the flowers bloom as, as they do. I can't get this camera to adjust. Uh, some common pests and diseases will include aphids, powdery mildew, and verticular wilt. I, folks, I don't... Uh, memorize all this stuff i'm consulting my notes right here which is a good thing for having notes at least i know how to take notes this is a more established red bud i can't get the focus it is already starting to show pretty good i can't focus there we go i just can't focus this story of my life Anyway, this one's putting off some pretty good color. We'll walk out here to another red bud that's only been in the ground about two years, maybe less. Uh, it's a Merlot red bud. It's not quite as far along in its bloom cycle. It's a little bit of a darker color. It's the name Merlot, but show check out these beautiful crab apple trees i'm pretty sure these are crab apple trees i may be wrong about that i think they are royal raindrop crab apple but i might be wrong but i thought they were absolutely beautiful and just wanted to show them to you vinca is looking really nice right now Although I will say, if you plant this stuff and you decide you want to get rid of it, it is a pain in the keister to get up and out. Just a note. Here's a lesson for plant placement and maintenance. On that side of the wall, way over there, there are four red bud trees. One, two, three, four. On this side, there are also four red bud trees. One, two, mm, three, and four. Let's go check those out. Hmm, you can see... This one, although it is still alive, barely up there, not really producing a lot of flowers this year, and it looks kind of looks kind of uh, looks kind of sick. But this one on the other side, oh man, that one is dead, D E D dead, uh, as you can see. Yeah. 
so it looks like it didn't get what it needed because it got crowded out back there redbud tree has a rich history in america um, native americans used it for medicines uh, edible flowers by the way the flowers are edible you can eat those um, and baskets the little branches are good for for making baskets uh the europeans also liked it they really 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 liked the red bud they said man we've got to get these red buds and we got to get them now and uh so they they liked them and they began using them uh in gardens and landscapes all over in fact george washington and thomas jefferson are known for planting red buds um today they're widely cultivated for their ornamental and early blooms So that's Red Bud in a nutshell, guys. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I appreciate you watching. Uh, I hope you learned a little something. I learned a little something. I didn't know all that about the Red Bud before I started reading up on it. Uh, be on the lookout next week for uh, Natives and Invasives Video 1. I'm going to do the Calorie Pear. The Calorie Pear, that invasive spawn of Satan himself. The uh, uh, Bradford Pear. So... Um, we're going to talk about that. I'm going to do some reading up on that. going to learn a lot about that. And hopefully be able to share some of that info with you. All right, guys. Keep it growing.